So now let's do the east face and then we'll end this video. Okay, because it's getting fairly. I'm just going to make a note for the east face right here. Oops. Okay, so we're now looking at the east face of building A. We have to figure out again the same properties that we used for the north face. I'm just going to bring them up and notice them here. We had H, L, and limiting distance. So let's do that. H, L, and limiting distance for the east face. all these dimensions, I'm getting them in meters. So let's go back to our drawing. We want to look for the vertical dimension of the east face, the horizontal dimension of the east face, and then the limiting distance. So the east face of the A building is right here. So the horizontal dimension is right here, 18.6. Okay, that's what I'm going to note here. 18.6. The vertical dimension of the A building, east face of the A building, is still the same because all of the A building is the same. 4.6 meters. And again, don't forget that the vertical dimension is from average grade to the highest ceiling, which is what's shown in this specific example. 4.6. Okay. Limiting distance. What about the limiting distance? Well, in this case, if you go and read the definition for limiting distance, you find that since the east face is facing another building right here, building B, and the limiting distance is halfway between those two buildings. Go read it up, okay? That means that we're going to be taking this distance, 8.8, .8, and dividing that by 2 for the limiting distance. Let's bring that back here. Limiting distance is 8.8 .8 divided by 2, which equals 4.4 meters. Make sense? All right. We're going to use H and L to find the area of the east face and the ratios for the east face. Let's do that. Area equals to H times L, which in our case is H times L. Uh, it's going to be 18.6 meters times four six meters equals two eighty five point five six meters squared five point six meters squared okay and we'll figure out in a moment what area we're going to use in the table and we also have to figure out h over l and l over h and take the larger one of it Now, if we look at this, since the L is the larger one of the two value, then that means L over H is going to be larger than H over L. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do L over H only because I know it's going to be larger than the other one. That's going to be 18.6 divided by a height, uh, sorry, a vertical of 4.6. And that gives us... 4.04, that's 2 out of 3, which is the same as writing 4.04 .04 to 1, so that we compare it against the proper row in the table, okay? Okay, so if we now bring up the table again, bring it up for us.
go. Let's find the table itself. So I claim that the table that we should be using is this one, which is 3.2.3.1b. And that's because our building is the A building, not sprinklered, and it's also an A occupancy, right? Okay. So now for area, we have to figure out which area we have to use. We calculated an area of 85.56. So we have here either we have to use the area that's here 80 or the area that is here for 100. Which one do we use? Always round up for the area, when in doubt, okay? You always have to round up, not down. So we're gonna be using 100, which is gonna be exactly what I'm gonna be writing in my solution. Write it right here. Use 100 square meters in the table okay okay for l over h is going to be the next one that we have to use we get 4.04 to 1 which leads us to select the 3 to 1 10 to 1 row because that's where it falls in between right and again we're using this table here b.2.3.1 Three point one. Okay, so we're going to be using this table. Again, let me show that to you in our table. So we figured out that we're not using. What? Well, right. Are you the way with that? So we're going to be using this table as this row, the 100 for the area, and we're going to be using the middle row for the ratio of L over H or H over L. And now we have to figure out what column we're going to be using, which is the limiting distance where it comes into play. Well, let me scroll up and let's see if we can find what the proper limiting distance column is going to be. Well, let's go back to what we had. I think we got 4.4. I think that's what we have. Yes, I see it right here, 4.4, okay? So again, remember, for limiting distance, when we select the column, we have to round down if we can't get the exact one. So in our table, what are our options? We have four and we have five. Which one do we use? Well, we have to round down. We don't use five. Okay, we're going to be using four down, down. So we want to go down this row here and it gets us to 18. Okay, well, let's go back to our solution and let's see how I would write this out. So first of all, for the limiting distance, I'm going to note that I'm going to use four meters in the table. And then when I match the area, the ratio, and the limiting distance, I get an answer of percentage area equals to 18%. Okay, now we're not done yet. We have to find out the construction requirements. So from table 3.2.3, 3.7. Let's go see what that gives us. Share that on the screen for you. Okay, it's still the same building. So again, we're going to be using a occupancy. We're going to be using 18%. So now that's this row which gives us one hour fire resistance rating. The structure is going to be combustible or non-combustible construction, and the cladding is going to be of non-combustible construction. So let me write that down in our solution. Fire 
fire resistance rating is going to be one hour. You can also write it as 60 minutes. Two. The type of construction requirement is going to be combustible or non-combustible. is for the pipe construction. And lastly, for the cladding, it has to be a non-combustible. Then again, this is the cladding of the east face. And because this is our final answer, I also want to make it obvious and mistakeable that even I could say this is the answer. That. Boom. Here is our final answer. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to end this video here. It's gone on long enough. I'm going to link them below and possibly write here in the top right corner part two of this video where we do the south and west face thank you so much for your time i appreciate it take care and see you for part two